You know, I think it's you want to close it out well, um, especially for your seniors. And, and that's what this week's about. It's about our seniors and it's about our parents and honoring them and saying thank you for all their, their time and effort that they put in um, to their kids. And, and, you know, we want to send out our seniors on a high note. And, you know, this year has been um, one where we've exceeded what expectations we had for ourselves. But um, having two teams come in that we've already played um, there, it's – it's exciting, and we're just really hoping that we can take care of business and finish strong. How important has this year's success been to possibly recruiting the next generation of Beaver athletes between the team record improvements or players that are breaking Division II record? I think it's good because I think, you know, we tell them how good we could be and what we're trying to do and that we're building. But I think being able to show them the success that we've had and that we're taking steps each year to, to get better, uh, I think that's going to help our recruiting because I think kids are going to come here and say, hey, this is something to be um, excited about and that we have the potential to really do a lot of good things. And um, it's definitely going to help us. You talked even about how Matt could be taking over for Kelsey at some point mm -hmm. and even when Kelsey's gone do you feel like high school athletes should be excited to come on and play with a player like that? Absolutely I mean I think you always want to bring in you know our class that we're trying to bring in are going to challenge the girls and we tell them this every day it's that I love you but I'm trying to replace you and they understand what I mean by that because we want to bring in girls that are going to be able to challenge our girls that already have the spot so that they don't become complacent. And that's our whole job in our recruiting classes, trying to bring in bigger and better. Um, but that can challenge our girls. And I think they like that idea and they like the competition and the challenge they have. And, um, you know, we have a big junior class um, that will be seniors next year that we want to make sure that when they leave, it's not going to be such a drastic change in our program. What has this senior class kind of meant to you? Um, you know, Kelsey's the one that has been here um, her whole time. And so she went through, you know, being recruited by one coach, coming and playing for another coach, and then having me come in, you know. So it was kind of three coaches she dealt with. And for Kelsey, you know, her sticking through, I think, says a lot about her character, is that she didn't run at the first sign of um, adversity. You know, she stuck with it. Um, and she bought in from day one, you know. Um, Katie, KK, and Cody, those two have been with me since I've been here. So we were in new in it together. KK was one of my recruits. Um, Katie had already made the decision to come. Uh, but, you know, for Katie, you know, to make a decision to stay when the coach that recruited her left just shows that they have something in them, that they're not going to run from adversity. They're going to do great things in, in the real world. Um, because they understand that it's not always going to go as planned, and um, you just take what comes and make the best of it. Coach, I don't mean to take like a super hard left turn here, but what's the kind of the defensive focus this week, considering like the way the Wayne State went? I mean, they hit attacking percentage that I mean they just can't happen to be competitive. You know, a lot of that was because of our hitting woos. We really struggled hitting, so we were putting them in system a lot. So really, this, the idea of practice this week has to really making sure that our offense is on. Because when we get teams out of system, that helps our defense be able to be set. But when you have a team like Wayne State that's been ranked in the country, they know how to win, they have big hitters. When you keep them in system the whole game, they are going to pound at you. And it doesn't matter that you have such great defensive players. Um, and that's kind of what happened is, you know, we. You know, Shelby didn't get a, her first registered kill, I think, until the third set. So, I mean, it was, it was one of those games, but our defense was right there. It was just they were too good, um, and we kept them in system and made it really easy for them. So our focus is, yeah, always making sure our defense is going to be there. Um, but, but it was really we need to make sure our offense is there to, to get them out of system. With the season winding down, what are some things you still will try to accomplish at this year? You know, I still think, you know, we – we need to get these two games this week to show that when we played them up there that they were not given to us. So the girls understand the importance of this week. Um, and then, of course, we have Duluth and St. Cloud. And I think it's just to show that we can finish strong. Um, you know, we started out pretty good. Um, we've had our ups and downs. But we just want to finish strong and use 
um, what we gain from this week and next week to really build us in the spring. Talking about like getting a team off balance, when you guys have been able to do that, is that probably one of the bigger reasons why the team has made a step forward this year? Or something? Yeah. Um, when we can make teams be out of system, then that makes our defense give us way more opportunities to put the ball away. Um, but I think the strongest suit has been our serve receive um, by far has kept us in games. Now, this week it kind of hurt us a little bit against Augustana. Um, but, you know, I think every aspect of our game has improved, but I think most of all has been our confidence. I think the girls are starting to believe in themselves. I think the girls are starting to realize that – um, you know, getting picked last again this year, I think, really lit a fire on them because they were like, well, we didn't finish last last year, so why did we get picked? Um, so it was kind of about getting respect, and I think they're doing that, but they're doing all the little things right, and we just got to keep building on it.